गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट मैं सिर्फ मिली सांखला एंड टुडे अवर सब्जेक्ट डिजाइन ऑफ क्रिस्टस कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर अवर मॉडल नंबर सियोर एंड टॉर्शनल रिजन स्ट्रेंथ ओके टुडे वी डिस्कस द एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टार्टिंग द एग्जाम्पल वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इक्वेशन ओके एंड द इक्वेशन इज फॉर शियोर स्ट्रेस एंड प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेसिस ओके नाउ इक्वेशन शियोर स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू वी एस डिवाइड बाई आई बी now what is v v is equal to shear force and we can write also tau v is equal to v divided by ib into a by b now we discuss the full form of this equation tau v is equal to shear stress due to transverse load transverse load that means perpendicular load v is equal to shear force s is equal to first moment of area and this moment of area is equal to a into y by okay we can write s also or we can write a into y bar i is equal to second moment of inertia and d is equal to width of section okay now next we find out maximum and minimum principal stresses develop and equation of this f max and f minimum is equal to fx plus fy by 2 plus or minus 1/2 under root of difference between fx minus fy square Plus four tau v square. Okay, now what is f x and f y? That is our direct stresses, and tau v is our shear stress. F x and f y we can write also sigma one and sigma two also. Okay, both are equal, and that is our direct stresses. Now next example number one. Before starting the example, we read the given data. Principal concrete beam, pistis concrete beam span. 10 meter rectangle section is given 120 mm by 300 depth and it is subjected to effective pistesim force that is 180 kN and beam support the udl load that is 5 kN per meter including self weight okay there is no need to find out self weight compare the magnitude of principal tensile stress in beam with or without actual pistis okay here is our section 120 mm by 300 mm okay and the pristising steel is applied 180 kN at center and beam is subjected to udl load 5 kN per meter and span is given 10 meter now first we find out area of section a is equal to 120 into 300 okay that is 36 into 10 raised to cube mm square then we find out inertia and inertia for rectangle section is bd cube by 12 b is 120 and d is equal to 300 bd cube by 12 here i write down directly the answer 27 into 10 raised to 7 and the unit of moment of inertia is mm raised to 4 now here udl is given 5 kN per meter now we find out shear force at support and equation of the shear force is w l by 2 that means w is load 5 distance l is equal to 10 meter and by 2 that is 25 kN okay now we find out maximum shear stress at support and equation of maximum shear stress for this rectangle section is tau v 3 by 2 that means 1.5 v by a v that means our shear force okay 3 by 2 into v is equal to 25 given in kN so convert into 10 raised to cube divide by area area that means area of this cross section 120 by 300 and answer is 1.05 newton per mm square clear now next we find out principal stresses and equation of this principal stresses is plus or minus 1/2 Under root of four tau v square. Tau v that means our shear stress. Okay, that we recently find some find out plus or minus tau v that is equal to one point zero five newton per mm square. Because under root four means two 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 cut. Simply the value that we left tau v and we already find out tau v that is one point zero five newton per mm square. Okay, now we find out actual stress. Okay, and equation of this actual pistesing is P by A. P that given in data pistesing force 180 into 10 raised to cube, and 
थर्टी सिक्स इंटू थर्टी टेन रेज टू क्यूब ओके फाइव न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर दिस वन इज द एक्चुअल प्रिस्ट्रेस ओके दैट मीन्स सिंपली स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू लोड डिवाइड बाई एरिया नाउ वी फाइंड आउट मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस दैट वी डिस्कस इन अवर थियोरी पोर्शन एंड इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम फोर्स इज इक्वल टू एफ एक्स प्लस एफ आई बट हियर ओनली द एफ एक्स इज गिवन नो वर्टिकल स्ट्रेस सो वी कंसिडर एफ एक्स बाई टू प्लस और माइनस वन हाफ अंडर रूट ऑफ एफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टाउ वी स्क्वायर ओके देन पुट द वैल्यूज एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव हियर वी फाइंड आउट दिस एक्चुअल प्रिस्ट्रेस फाइव ओके फाइव बाय टू ओके बिकॉज हियर ओनली एंड ओनली ओरिजिनल फोर्स इज सब्जेक्टेड एंड दैट इज अप्लाइड बाय प्रिस्ट्रेस इन फोर्स पी प्लस और माइनस वन हाफ देन एफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एंड टाउ वी वी फाइंड आउट वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव पुट दिस वन पॉइंट जीरो फाइव स्क्वायर एंड आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्लस एंड माइनस फर्स्ट वैल्यू वी गेट फाइव पॉइंट ट्वेंटी थ्री न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वायर एंड दैट इज कंप्रेसिव एंड सेकेंड वैल्यू वी गेट माइनस पॉइंट ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड दिस आंसर इज इज नेगेटिव सो वी कंसिडर दिस स्ट्रेस एज अ टेंसाइज स्ट्रेस ओके now we compare with actual press stress the principal tension is reduced and how much percentage is reduced we find out first we get actual uh, press stress that is 1.05 and here we get minus 0.23 okay so 1.05 minus 0.23 divide by our 1.05 Into hundred seventy eight percentage. That means the actual with actual press stress, the principal tension is reduced seventy eight percentage. When we discuss with actual press stress, our value is decreased seventy eight percentage. Okay. Now we solve the second example. Again, read the given data. Press stress concrete beam of span diameter size one twenty by three hundred. Rectangle section is given. and it is subjected to udl load 5 kN per meter on entire span including self weight again this value is given including self weight there is no need to find out self weight beam is prestressed by curved cable with eccentricity 0 at support and 100 mm at center of span that means at support eccentricity of cable is 0 but at center point eccentricity e is given 100 mm With effective force of one eighty kilonewton, estimate the principal tension. Okay, now one by one. Here at center point eccentricity is given, but at support cable eccentricity is zero. So slope of cable at support theta. This equation is four e by l. Okay, first of all we will find out slope at support for cable alignment. And four into hundred divided by span L is given in ten meter divided into mm ten thousand. First, this answer we get in radian, and after that we convert into degree, and that is two point twenty nine degree. Now we find out vertical component of pressure in force P and horizontal component of pressure in force P. Okay, for vertical component we multiply with sine. 2.29 180 into sin 2.29 degree and answer we get that is 7.2 kN that is our pv and horizontal component of p is equal to 180 kN into 1 okay cos 2.29 degrees that is similar to 1 and ph is equal to 180 now we find out support reaction for this beam that is wl by 2 W is equal to five, L is equal to ten, and my answer is seven point two. Okay, and next we find out net shear stress, net shear force, because here the vertical force is given seven point two. Okay, and W L by two we get W L by two minus this seven point two, and answer is equal to seventeen point eight, because two forces are acting. Two vertical forces are acting. First one is due to our UDL load, and second is due to our pressure in force. Okay, and UDL WL by two is acting upward direction, and the vertical component seven point two due to pressure in force acting down direction. So subtract it, and answer is seventeen point eight kilonewton. Okay, now we find out maximum shear stress. 
मैक्सिमम सी एस टू इज टाउ वी फॉर रेक्टेंगल सेक्शन इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाई टू वी बाय ए V that means our net shear force due to UDL and piston force. We find out 17.8 tan h to cube divided by area of our section 120 mm by 300 mm. And finally, we get maximum tau max is equal to 0.74 newton per mm square. Okay. Now we find out axial press stress in horizontal direction. That is pH by a value of pH that is 180 into tan h to cube. Divide by area, five newton per mm square. This value, horizontal value, external stress is depend upon stress in force. Okay. Now F max and F minimum, F x by two plus or minus one half under root of F x square plus tau, four tau v square. F x we find out five by two plus or minus one half five by two pi square plus four into tau v. Tau v we find 0.74. After solving that, we get two values. First one is 5.11 newton per mm square positive, that means compressive stress, and second value we get minus 0.11 negative, so tensile stress. Okay. Now, according to our example number one, when cable is axial, minimum stress we get that is minus 0.21 newton per mm square. Okay, and reduction in principal tension here we find out 0.21 minus 0.11 divided by 0.21 into 100 percent that is equal to 48 percentage. Here we fo follow example number one. You when we find out the when cable is axial, we get minus 0.21 newton per mm square and that is tensile force. And reduction in principle of tension is 48 percentage. Okay, just now we stop here. In next session we start with new topic. Okay.